Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial. Today we're gonna see an animation which is called Dark Light Theme Change on Scroll. So as you can see, when I'm scrolling down, the theme is alternating between dark and light theme. You can see the background. And I'm adding some text as well, so you can see some change. So we're going to see how to change this background and the text color automatically with bricks, only bricks, and with an interactions and a bit of CSS. So I've already created a page. So the black light background page. So um, I'm going to add a section, that section going to have a heading, so my section I'm going to center Ah, sorry, first I need to uh, give a height, so that will be that. Then I'm centering the heading, and then also for the heading, I'm centering it. So we have our base section, and I'm going to duplicate it several times so we can see the change. One, two, three, four. Well, I should be fine. So, once we have our section ready, we're going to create our interaction. And we're going to create our interaction based on classes. So, our first is white. So, our second section should be dark. I've already created the dark and yes then the next one should turn light and the next one turn dark but i'm missing one thing because i put my classes are only the what we're gonna see the CSS and the interaction, we're gonna create them after. But let's think if I go back to my section and there is no class applied, it's not, it, we don't know which color should be applied. So, on so on the first one, we should apply the light one. So, we're gonna turn light so i'm saving then i'm gonna create interaction so on my dark i'm gonna add an interaction so i'm saying when it's entering viewport i'm gonna set an attribute which is a class and i'm gonna say it's gonna apply a dark uh, class to the body okay then one is going to the let's be sure we are on the okay one is on the light one so one is centering the viewport it should so I'm adding a class which is light and I'm applying this to the body. So let's see the result, but it's not totally correct. Let's see why. You see my body, it's already entered the viewport, so it's got the light class. But then I'm going to go. Ah, sorry. 
I forgot one thing <laughs> and it's obviously the CSS. I'm going too fast. So let's add a code. So to the code, I already prepared the CSS. And that I don't need, that I don't need, and that I don't need. Okay, let's not forget to apply, to execute the code. So you can see I've, I, I, I forgot to uh, add the black class. So it, was, it wasn't changing to, sorry, it should be dark. And this one should be light. So now you see it as the interaction works, it has added the light. Then it's adding the dark, but there is still the light one. So for the next one, you see there is already the class, so he doesn't know what to do. So we are missing something actually for the classes. When I have my dark one, I have my interaction. I'm adding the dark class, but at the same time, when in centering the viewport, I should remove the light class. Yes, and the same when I'm on the light one. So adding the light one. So I'm duplicating to go quicker. When starting the viewport, it should remove the dark class. So let's see the result now. So now you see light already done. I'm scrolling down and then it's turning dark and you see the class, just the dark, the light has disappeared. And then going to the next section, the light only, the dark has disappeared. And then going to the last one, the dark only and the light has disappeared. So this is working and you can see also so not only the background but the heading also is changing automatically from light to dark and that maybe you have seen because i copy pasted the css just before is um, let's go back to the code and so that's because um i've uh, added this blank mode difference to my heading. So in this case, I'm putting h1, h2, h3, but you could add the p uh, for your if you have some text. So, and I'm putting a, um, a default color, which is white. So what's going to what the Blixman mix blend mode is doing is when you have a white background, the difference which is applied to the text is will be black. The opposite, the opposite color, the, basically the mix blend mode is difference is a, is applying the opposite color of what you have. So when it's black, it's white. When it's white, it's dark. It's black. The opposite. So, okay, so you see, I've also, um, to my body, you can see that the change. Why? Because I apply a transition, a quite long transition of two seconds. 
So it's quite obvious to see the change. I could reduce the the transition to one second. You you can do whatever you want. I mean, it's just for the purpose of the exercise. I put two seconds. So that's it. Uh, I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for watching.